took up golf recently. I thought, I never play this game. Old man's game, never played it before. But my kids play, so I want to play with them. So I go out, and I do really well. I go out, and I'm outpowered by my instructor. I'm feeling really proud. The next day, I'm not feeling so proud. I keep putting the ball in the water again and again. I'm getting so frustrated. I put down another one. I put down another one. I don't care. I don't care what the score is. Let's do it. And finally, I was getting frustrated. And I said, you're a terrible instructor. Because I should be able to be consistent at whatever shooting level I can achieve. I said, I know I'm not Tiger Woods, but I should be able to be consistent, and you're just telling me that it's difficult. Telling me that it's difficult is not helping. Tell me what to do. He said, actually, you're only a little bit off. I said, could have fooled me. He said, no, you're only about a millimeter or two off. I said, you're joking. He said, watch this. I haven't taught you this yet. When you're approaching the ball, the angle that you're hitting it at, the, the, dif the difference between those two angles are about one or two millimeters. Instead of hitting it straight into the green, one millimeter to the right, and you're in the water. One millimeter over here, and you're in the sand. He also said, you're not stroking the ball just one millimeter on the, on the ground. I thought, what a great belief system that when all hells are breaking loose and nothing's working, you're only one millimeter off. Because most people think that it's impossible and they just give up. Isn't that true? In real life, it is true. So, two days later, I was going to see one of my clients. I do some coaching and I was working with the number one plastic surgeon on the planet. He's going through some tough times in some aspects of his life. But this guy gets paid a million dollars to fly over and do three people's faces. I'm talking about the number one plastic surgeon. He can make anyone who looks ugly look gorgeous and spectacular. He showed me pictures of an 84-year-old woman who looked ugly. He made her look gorgeous. 40, no exaggeration. So I was waiting for him in his office, and he's still in the surgery. He's creating this book for other surgeons around the world. So I take a look at it, and I see the top 100 supposedly most beautiful women's faces, and then. I wasn't paying attention to the other ones, but I was turning the pages, and I noticed something. He has got these little measurements, and he has mathematically calculated what it takes to make a person look beautiful, man or woman, and it's a few millimeters. Interesting. For example, the distance between the top part of a woman's lip and her nose, that little distance, if that is the same as her eye, she looks gorgeous. If it is one millimeter more, she has an average face. If it's two millimeters more, she looks butt ugly. <laughs> the difference between butt ugly and gorgeous is two millimeters. He has a dozen of these one or two millimeter changes, and it's a whole different person. It's unbelievable. So a very powerful belief to leave a very powerful belief to leave today with would be nothing's working and I'm only one millimeter away. What little change can I make that when I make that change it will change everything? because I'm heading in this direction, and I want to make that change an hour from now, a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, and I'm at a totally different destination. But the one millimeter change, I can show you one right now. Stay in the state of certainty. Intensify it, whatever it takes. Make your move, make your move. Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. Now keep that feeling going, don't let go of it. Do you see the difference between being certain and being uncertain? Do you see that difference? Certain and uncertain. Thank you.